For almost three years, Guam Music Inc. has been fighting to obtain licenses for gaming machines that were deemed illegal by the Attorney General's office. In 2008, Revintex revoked the renewal of licenses for the machines as an investigation they conducted determined that Liberty, Symbolics, Pharaoh, Matchplay, and Uncle Sam were progressive machines that paid out cash. While Guam Music Inc. filed several protests and requested for a hearing to appeal the decision, the licenses, you may recall, were then given back by then-Lieutenant Governor Mike Cruz. The Attorney General's office eventually stepped in and determined the machines to be illegal and had the licenses revoked yet again. Guam Music's position, and we believe it's the correct position, is that these are legal amusement devices. The only person who says that they're illegal gambling devices was initially I'm the director of the Department of Revenue and Taxation and, and, and the Attorney General's office. But it's never been adjudicated on the merits. Attorney Pete Perez represents Guam uh, Music Inc. and device. contends his client is entitled to a writ of mandate to force Revintax to give his client the licenses they paid for and contend they're entitled to. Paris said had the government gone through the appropriate administrative process, the company's licenses would have been in place until that matter was resolved. Guam Music was denied um, due process at the administrative level because at the, um, at the department at, under the administrative adjudication law, which provides you cannot revoke a license without first undertaking those proceedings. And then secondly, after all of those proceedings had been bypassed, it was then denied judicial due process by not being named as a party in the Attorney General's writ proceedings. Deputy Attorney General Patrick Mason, however, contends the company's arguments are moot because the licenses they're seeking to have renewed are from prior years. The licenses you see are supposed to be renewed every year. They're asking for their licenses that were revoked a number of years ago. Now, they haven't applied for any license since then. So that year is gone. In any event, they would have had to request a new license for a new licensing year. So that was never done? And no, there's nothing in the record to indicate that that was ever done. Mason adding that even if the company wanted to argue that the machines are not gaming devices which are not entitled to be licensed and could be seized by the government, they can't be deemed amusement devices that could be placed in any arcade in any mall and played by people of all ages, including children. GMI has not identified any such right. No amusement device owner has a vested right to have an amusement device, device issued, uh, uh, license issued or renewed each year simply because it had a license in the past. If this were so, then licenses would be issued without regard to the requirements of the licensing law. So the idea that we should have filed a new application for the following year, even if we had done that, number one, we would have had to file new, new licensing fees. Number two, I guess if it had been denied, we would have been entitled to a hearing. But number three, it wouldn't have redressed the detriment from 2008-2009. Guam Music Inc., however, argues there's been no determination on the merits that the machines are in fact illegal and says the government must follow procedures if they want to make that argument, something they contend was never done and could be done if the law was simply followed. Supreme Court justices have taken the matter under advisement.